All right, so we are at Battlefield Reptile Expo. The see back there. We did a quick walk around already um, and picked up a bearded dragon. It was a really good price. So I went ahead and got that for my son for his birthday. So we're just gonna do a quick walk around and kind of maybe do some interviews and just see, uh, see what all's here. So pretty good turnout. We got kicks balls over here. We'll probably walk back around and show him. Got some uh, stuff right here. It's a nice, uh, nice female there. So these, we talked to these guys earlier. They said uh, this was their first show, and uh, they got some nice stuff here. Got some a really nice. Uh, Nice high intensity orange stream pie there. Really nice. Oh, we're gonna get it out. So we can get a nice one. Awesome. So orange. The camera's not even really picking up how orange that is. That is crazy orange. Very cool. Awesome. Good luck today. Thanks guys. Over here, there's lots of uh, lots of other reptiles here today. Yeah, yeah, mommy's filming them. Pretty cool. Bunch of tortoises, baby tegus. There's some ball pythons here. A nice enchi clown there. So a bunch of uh, leopard geckos here. Would they, would they be able to get on present thought? Or? Yeah, ball pythons are pretty easy to switch. The easiest way to do it is just kill the mouth and hold it by the tail for a couple times and tease them. Bunch of, uh, we got a bunch of feeder, feeder bugs, some mealworms, superworms, a bunch of, tons of, tons of feeder bugs. Got some hornworms over here. Over here we got lips reptiles. They got a ton of bearded dragons. Got some pretty cool bearded dragons in here. So we can get it to focus. The netting makes it a little hard to focus here. But they got some pretty cool, pretty cool bearded dragons. And some more feeders. Lots and lots of feeders here. So, got some dry goods over here. Um, let's see. Some centipedes and spiders. We got a really nice variety at the show today come over here so we already did a quick walk around I um, just want to come back and hit some of these tables for you guys to see some springtail cultures a bunch of isopods kind of see them in there some crusties a couple chameleons all of them start with that over here to uh, this is TB reptile zone here from Yorktown Virginia and I got some nice stuff pastel desert pastel double hut desert ghost clown pretty nice stuff oh, that's nice super Mojave pet hypo possible chocolate Green tree pythons. I like this one up here. I saw this one earlier. Super chocolate head hypo. This one too. Banana butter sugar. If I was looking for a male, I could be tempted on that. And you got your banana clown. That one's real nice too.
Yeah, I got some, lots of nice stuff for sure. soon. Clearly my son is already tired of being here. Cinnamon bee. This albino leopard. Hopefully I have one of those in the uh, incubator. We'll see. I like this one up here, calico orange green. It's a nice calico. Female too. This orange green fire, possible super orange green. GHI Mojave, that's pretty sweet. Yellow Belly Spark stuff. Chocolate Red Stripe. Lemon Blast Chocolate Red Stripe. <laughs> Definitely some nice stuff. So, and you can see there's, there's quite a few empty spots. We got up here a little late. Definitely missed out on some stuff, but this is what it is. See, we've got some, uh, got some venomous over here. Poker in here, but, but I don't like it's in a pretty small enclosure. It's a rattlesnake, snakes, the boom right. vipers. Oh, he'd rather be in a small space. Oh, did you hear that? I was wrong, Alex. Yeah, it's big. We, we used to live in Houston, and they had a king cobra there, and it was. Got some rats over here. Some cool looking, uh, cool looking rats. You like the rats? Look at this one. Isn't that one cool? Yeah, look, some hairless rats too. And a Rex. This is pretty cool here. They're selling uh, pre-made bioactive I stuff. Cool looking, yeah. I didn't That's the first time I've seen that. That's pretty cool. I thought I could put it in the, I thought I could put it in the It's actually not business. even a bad price. And all the work's done for you. I some springtails. Well, I was going to put it outside. A bunch of cultures. I made 10 gallon. Can't beat that. 10 gallon already made up. Bioactive vivarium for sixty-five dollars. It's really not bad. Takes all the work out of it. This one's pretty cool. Look at this one here. I like how they've got it sloped and everything, and cork bark in the back. That's pretty neat. Let's see what we got over here. This is EJR Exotics. Some nice stuff on the table. Got some bunch of corn snakes and stuff here. So they have a really nice variety of stuff here today. Um, not as many ball pythons as I thought there would be, but huge variety of other stuff for people that are looking at other stuff. Oh, then we even got some, some guinea pigs here. A bunch more uh, 
Looking for bugs. They got tons of bugs here. Some more bearded dragons. Little baby beardies. Nice ivory. We got morphed out towels over here. See that we got plenty of repti chip. We got some easy hatch trays too. Chocolate OD man. Super nice. Check out this one. Super OD and cheap hide. So nice. So really with Oh, nice stuff. I definitely need to get one of these. This is amazing. Super chocolate hypos. Hey. Yeah, no problem. A spot nose. Here's a lace, yellow belly lace. You want to give you a shout out on your YouTube? We got bodacious balls here. They walked past them earlier. They had some nice stuff. Look at this. Look at this for me real quick. That one there, that disco fire entry. Like that a lot. This is just killer. Super nice stuff. Let's see what we got down here. GHI Mojave Clowns. Pretty awesome. It's a nice big clown pod there. Definitely some nice stuff. Got Osmond reptiles here. Hey. Got some boas. Here. It's pretty awesome. A GHI ghost possible chocolate. That's pretty sweet. I'm really liking the chocolate, especially in the uh, in the ghost. Really nice. And look at this. This is like so orange. That is nice. See what else they got over here. You guys, go check them out. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. It's not one to focus. Mm. How cool you want to see snake? I just bought. Yeah, I can get that to focus. There we go. See what else we got over here. That was pretty nice. A killer bee, gravel or specter. Bunch of het puzzle stuff. Really nice. This one here on the end. Pastel, pinstripe, possible for hobby and sheep. Odom. Nice. That's a ten. So if you breathe on. Blood bow is here. Special het clown. Some double hets. Some nice, uh, nice stuff. So that was our trip to Gettysburg to the Battlefield Reptile Expo. There was quite a bit of variety there. Definitely not quite as many ball pythons as I was ex hoping for, but I mean, there's more reptiles than just ball pythons, I guess. So I think it was probably really good for a lot of the other people that are looking for some of those other reptiles that are harder to find. I mean, ball pythons, you can, you can get a morph market and find them anytime. So, and I think it was really cool seeing a lot of the other stuff, you know, a lot of spiders, tons of feeder bugs couple caimans. There was quite a bit of stuff. Quite a few bearded dragons. 
Um, so, and you heard earlier in the video that our new pickup is a bearded dragon for Carson. And I will put in a little clip right here of him in his temporary cage while I build his new enclosure. So here he is with his salad and he's got some bugs. He, I fed him a little bit earlier so he's not super hungry right now. So he's kind of ignoring some of the, the dubias. But he's got a salad in there. Not a huge fan of the salad yet. He did eat some yesterday though. I gave him uh, some cil mostly cilantro yesterday and he seemed to like that. So I tried to mix the cilantro in with some collard greens or actually no, they're, they're turnip greens today. That's what Walmart had. Let's see if maybe I can get him to eat some of the other greens besides just the cilantro. He seems to like the carrot, so I gave him some more carrot today. He's more interested in watching the camera than eating. It is still pretty early in the morning though, so he's still probably not quite awake. He was basking and I, I put him down here to see if he'd eat some bugs. But this is his temporary little setup right now. See he's pooped back there, so I gotta clean. But he's just in a little uh, Sterilite bin. I've got a little bulb for him. I'm waiting for his UVB light to come. I ordered it from Reptile Basics, so I've just been letting him get a little bit of sunshine until that comes. But uh, yeah, he's just on some paper towels. Got his little little basking log here, a little climbing, little climbing tree. And uh, this is just, just his little temporary house while I build his big two by four enclosure. So, there he is. Pretty cool. Carson's super excited about him too. He can't wait till he's in his room. So here he is. I'm kinda I see him there. Super cool, really excited. Uh, he's a red hypo translucent male. So really excited about that. Debating maybe get it, having getting a female and doing a pair just for Carson to kinda play with something for him to earn a little money, put an account for like a car or college or something. So I might do that for him. Probably should have gotten a female first, but it's all right. This one's really cool. And I think he'll make a really cool pet. He seems really cool. I said Carson is so excited about him. He originally named him Yoshi. Now he thinks he wants to change his name to Mario. So we'll see next week what his name is. But I told him he's gotta, he's gotta pick a name and stick with it. But this is him. I think I'm probably just as excited as Carson is about him, but he's super cool. I can't wait till he's inside and we can kind of, Carson can kind of play with him a little bit more. And once he gets a little bit bigger too, because right now he's still, he's still pretty small, but he's super cool, super chill. Cool little guy. He's so red. So if you are not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Just hit 1,100 subscribers. So I am so excited about that. Um, I think I hit 30,000 30, views the other day as well. So I just, I can't even believe how much you guys like watching the channel. Um, I'm so excited. So make sure that you like and comment down below. Like I said, I will be doing a build video for him. I know a couple people have requested it. I haven't done one of these before, so it's definitely some trial and error. I've already started on the build and about halfway through and I've had to tweak a few things and because uh, I've been kind of combining a few things I saw on YouTube together. And some of it's working and some of it's not. But um, I will be putting that up as soon as I get that done and get him in his new house. And we'll probably do a little bit more in detail video um, on him once he's kind of in his new setup. I will be doing the clutch update for number three here soon. Clutch number four did just come out of the eggs. I'm waiting on them to shed and then I will do an update on them. But clutch number three should be about ready for deposits and to ship in probably four, 
four or five weeks. So, but here he is. I will see you guys next time.